Hello all, good afternoon. I am coming to you from Cali. I wanted to do, um, I haven't gotten permission yet, so hopefully she will allow me to post this, but I wanted to do a review of a book I read. Um, Amazon wouldn't let me post it because they suck for some reason. I don't even know why they didn't post it. Um, but it was for um, Sin, which is a uh, Vegas Nights number one book, part one, um, by Emma Hart. First of all, Emma Hart is like the cutest thing ever. I mean, she really is. That pink hair is just adorbs. Um, and then she doesn't live in the United States, which means she has an accent. So that's like double bonus. So um, I am not really up on Emma Hart. Like I'll, I'll be like, I'm total honesty. So when I got this book, and I was like, I'm just, I'm going to read it. And uh, let's just see. I, I'm, I don't know what to expect. You know, hey, it's about Vegas. Let's, let's just go with it. I've only been to Vegas like twice. I don't gamble. I just hope it doesn't have gambling in it. Um, I've been to a couple strip clubs, but I mean, that might, it could have that in it. And I'm, I'm I could relate. Um, so... I was like going in there completely blind, completely blind. So I'm going to read what I wrote on Amazon that they didn't post because they're jerks. Um, so first of all, the headliner was Damien Fox is Pearson, which he is the alpha male, char male character who you freaking love to hate. I mean, like, seriously, the brother is love to hateable. Um, I mean, I hated him with a passion. Like, I really wanted to throw my Kindle at times because I was like, why are you such an asshole douchebag? But it's written so well, like, you have to keep reading. I mean, it, it, it just is. It's written so well, you just have to keep reading. So, my review says, and I'm getting, my eyes are going to look over because I'm looking at my phone. Um, Emma Hart made me hate Damian Fox with a passion. Made me want to pick up one of the books from Delilah's Bar, which is the female character, um, and pound him senseless. But then I read on, along with Delilah, um... But then as I read, read on and as and as along with Delilah started to fall hard for Mr. Fox. Um, again, Damien Fox is his full name. Um, in his asshole ways. His sexy swagger, need for um, black in the heat that is Vegas, and the picture of perfection he shows the world. But when he starts to love, he loves hard, he loves hard and owns you. And that is the amazing dance you read, interlaced with heartbreak, pain, death, and forgiveness. I can't write, wait to read Vegas Nights number two, which is like real life, like countdown to September real life. Um, so... The book is out, so it, it, I'm not going to do spoilers or anything like that. I, I, I really I hate when people do that crap because it annoys the hell out of me. But first of all, I've seen this, and I think she's going to kill me if I get this wrong. Stacy Hart writes about... A, a 
store in one of a couple of her, actually two of her stories are based around a club night. It's not a club though, but it's a coffee shop bar atmosphere that's based around kind of a library. Emma Hart does that club version. Open during the day, coffee bar kind of thing. Um, you can check out books, like a library. Um, in Vegas, which is totally, to me, was just like, when Stacey Hart did it and where she, it was set, it, it to me, it was like, oh, that, that makes sense. But in Vegas, you just wouldn't think that that would, like, make sense. That, like, then you were, like, like people were, like, up in the club, up in the club at a library kind of setting. But you think of all, like, these book nerds who, like, have no real social skills. They just, like, stick their head in a book and that's their life, which I think I just described myself. Um... So maybe I need to go to Vegas and go to this damn club. Maybe I'll find my book nerd equal. But as you're reading this book and you hate Damien Fox, you hate his father, you hate the things that they are pushing on Delilah you hate the intimidation the arrogance but then you're like it's so hot like arrogance is douchebaggy but so hot because she wrote it in a way that it's like Delilah is so fierce and she's so boss that even in the eyes of looking at it from the outside of seeing him as being a douchebag asshole, and, and that's really totally in the book, he, she calls him an asshole and I think a douchebag. Um, and so do our friends. He is masking tons of pain. As well as she's gone through tons of pain. And they have so many things in common. So as the story interweave, interweaves and interlaces. And you see the motives and... The, the walls kind of fall down and the stories behind their pain, both of their pains, um, and their family struggles and their family issues, it, it, it rips you apart. And then I'm like, Damien... I, I love you. Like I, 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 I heart emoji. I like kissy, kissy face emoji. Like I, I get it. Like I get why you are an asshole. I get why you are the person you are today because of what you had to deal with. That is what Emma did to me. She, she really mind effed me because I wanted to hate him like from from the jump it was like total like enemy to lover kind of thing like it was which I like but he was a, a total douchebag and I didn't think I could let him slide and by the end I was like rooting, cheering, like pom-poms out. I can't fit in my cheerleading outfit from school, so I didn't have that on. Um, it wouldn't have been a good look. But I was really, really 
fully invested in it. And I was like, don't screw it up, Damien. Don't screw it up, Delilah. Don't screw it up. Like, you know, all of the the other characters in the book that kind of... And, and we know that they're, you know, book two is going to be based on a character that is that is in book one. Um, Vegas Nights two, Vegas Nights two is going to be based on um, Damian Fox's sister, who of course has experienced the same family pain and dealt with it in a totally different way. So I'm like jazzed, but because I know in reading the book um, some of the crap she went through, I'm ready to, I, I know I'm going to have some Kleenex ready because I know some stuff is going to go down that is going to make me cry. Um, I fully, fully, fully recommend this book. It is, again, like enemies to lovers. Um, romance book. There's some real, real good sexiness in it. I mean, Emma can write some sex. She can write angst. She can write pain. She can write great character development where you're like, you're getting it. Like, I got it. Like, I got Damien. I got Delilah. I even got um, her her counterparts, characters um, that were interlaced. Um, you know, people that worked in the bar at Delilah's. I, 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 I felt them. I, I got their personality. I, I saw the drama from some of them. I saw the bitchiness from some of the other ones. It just was so well developed in that way that I was like, I was, I was invested to the point of sit down, Kindle open. I did not stop until it was done. Um, so it, it is worth a read. It is probably worth a second read. Um, I, I was thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed by it. Um, I'm kind of a little annoyed that I have to wait until September to read the second one because I'm like a little psycho about now and now I want more, 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 more. Um, but because of this, I have gone in and now went back and got some more Emma Hart books on my Kindle. So Emma, my, um, my credit card does not like you. I'm just letting you know, it does not like you. My heart and my head like you, but my, my financial, um, outlook is not pretty. So I really, really, really advise anybody that First of all, loves enemies to lovers. This is your jam. If you love a great alpha story and kind of like to see the tortured development and, and, and to see how two people who have this pain in them can come to terms with this pain and break down walls, this is your book. I, I This is your book. Sign up for it. Read it. Sin, uh, Vegas Nights, number one, by Emma Hart. It came out on July 18th, I believe is the release date. Um, it's available on, I believe, all of the... Um, Barnes and Noble, Kindle, iBooks. I I don't know what else because I don't I don't use any of the other stuff. Probably Kobo, whatever else. <clears throat> I did it through um, Kindle because that's my jam. 
Um, but get it. It it is it is worth your read. It is worth your time. Um, I I don't. I I wouldn't do a video about it if I didn't think it was good. So I just want you to know you really really need to give this book a read because it is worth it. It truly truly is worth it. You will thank me. I promise you. Again, Sin, Vegas Nights number one in my heart. You will not regret it. And if you regret it, like send them messages to Emma Hart. Don't send them to me. No, I'm just kidding. You can send them to me. All right. So I, I, I hope Emma Hart lets me um, post this um, because, you know, I really like to see my face on Facebook, but I'm just saying. All right. Thank you guys for your time. Please get this book. Um, I will put the links. Hopefully, I will grab the links from all the other sources and give you the cover um, when I post it, it um, uh, the video. So we'll go with that and we'll work from there. So Katherine Anderson is my name, and um, I hope you enjoy the book and and go out and get the next one in September, which is Lust. Um, Vegas Nights number two, which is out at the end of September. So be ready for that. Because once you reach the read the first one, you're going to be like, number two, number two, number two, number two. And, and not McDonald's number two. Okay? Thanks all. Bye.